Uh, as Ramadan draws to a close, Muslims worldwide will take stock of their renewed commitment and dedication to Islam. At the same time, many will also be taking inventory of their post-Holy War or Holy Month financial state. Stephanie Freed explains why. The Holy Month of Ramadan is a pillar of Islam. Devout Muslims fast from sunup to sundown for 30 days and increase their daily prayer. A time of generosity, gifts and charity flow during Ramadan and shopping for the iftar or post-fast meal is often unrestrained. You spend a uh, hundred shekels uh, and every day uh, normal. In, my, in Ramadan you spend about 200, 250 shekels every day because you want to buy everything, you want to eat everything. Yes, and this chicken all stuffed with freaking. For the privileged, upscale hotel buffets offer up the quintessential all-you-can-eat fare prepared by trained chefs. This is luxury. Islam cautions against extravagance, but that presents a conflict during the holy month, also coined the spending month. According to one Saudi publication, the average Muslim spends 100% more than he or she earns during Ramadan. Some, however, don't have the wherewithal for breaking fast in hotels or even buying the basics. Parents, ashamed of being spotted by neighbors, send their children to collect iftar meal handouts from this distribution center. I depend on this meal for my family. Without it, we would have nothing. We rely on this for iftar. The center operates throughout the year, but during Ramadan, contrasts sharpen. It is a matter of how many opportunities you have for working and what is your income and what is your expenditures. So the equal between both of them, which makes the poverty uh, prevail more in these days. Charity is of utmost importance to Muslims even more so during Ramadan. Those who have are able to sweeten the month for those who don't by giving back. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, East Jerusalem.